Hey, it's me, Markel's World, All Things Professional Wrestling, and my life. Hey, this is After Work. Um, I am where you can have your phone, but um, let's talk about it. We have some news. Samantha Arvin. Arvin. Samantha Arvin has well quit. Allegedly, allegedly, she allegedly did not want to resign. Yes, honey. They said she did not want to resign, allegedly. And we all know what's going on that, um, her and Ricochet, they are going out. They are clearly a thing. They are clearly a couple. And we all know what happened with him. Ricochet went to AEW. So a lot of people are already assuming, what's next? What's next? Is she going to go to AEW? Is she going to follow her man in AEW? Is that what is going on here? Is she like, you know what? I'm going to follow where my man is. And my man, he is in AEW. And so that is where I'm going. I am very shocked and stunned. The reason why I'm saying that is because we all know that WWE was very focused on her. What I mean by focus on her is they were making it um, where she was the vocal point sometimes with WWE. There were times where they were showcasing her reaction. There were times where they were actually posting her. So it seemed like they were showcasing her. They had a lot of um, hopes for her. They had a lot of um, time invested in her. So for her to leave, they even had Lillian Garcia, come give her a hug. Mm -hmm. All right, baby, you are the one. I'm passing this torch to you. This is yours. Remember, we had that moment last year with her and Lillian Garcia passing the torch. Now that torch is done. Got burned, honey. She said, I, I'm done with this. So um, I'm wishing her the best. I don't, this is not a laughing matter. I'm, this is a good matter for her. I know Samantha is doing what's best for her. So congratulations on that. I am thinking it is a good thing per se. Wouldn't you think that's a good thing? If you don't want to re-sign with a company, that means you have better options. That means that you know your value. You know someone else appreciates you or wants it a little bit more. So we shall see. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe she's like, you know what? Um, I just want to take a break. You know, it can not, It doesn't always have to be a bad thing, but the wrestling blogs are speculating and are reporting that supposedly it is due to her wanting to go to AEW, which is kind of strange because if you guys were on your A game, you would have saw that she was going to quit. Like if you're inside sources are backstage in the WWE locker room. If they're in the hallways lurking around, getting on the info, how did you not know this tea that she was gonna quit? Now you guys are reporting it after she writes on Instagram that she's no longer with the company. Now you guys have all of these allegations, all of these, this is what supposedly is going on and this is where she's going. But quite as it's kept, you guys didn't even know she was gonna quit until she posted that she was done for so long. I am taking what they say with a grain of salt. Really don't know why she is no longer with the company. We shall see. We shall see what happens with her. I don't feel like this is the last time we're going to see her. But I did make a video recently about her. Um, what was Samantha doing? Saying how she was no longer going to post those photos of her. You know, she was posting photos of her and her booty or, you know, pictures of her and her skin. She was saying those are no longer going to be uploaded on her Instagram. Now she no longer wants to be with WWE. So it seems like it's a lot of, um, this is the year, this is the phase for Samantha Irvin for her to make her decisions for her to say no to some things, say yes to some things. This is Samantha's time. She is basically doing things on her own accord. So um, for that, congratulations. She will be missed. Um, someone that took communications myself, have a bachelor's in communication. I know when someone is well-spoken, um, she did have the it factor. She did have the looks. She did have, why am I talking like she's dead? She's not dead. Let me stop talking. She did, she did, she did, but she does have it. Um, star quality, enunciations. Her style was different. And speaking of Lillian, um, I think I mentioned Lillian and the passing the torch.
We got some news about that. Um, supposedly she's backstage at Raw. And if you guys are going to give her this job full time again, I don't know. It's a little disappointing. I grew up with Lauren Garcia. I love Lauren Garcia. I even watched Chasing Glory and her making the way to the ring. I've listened to her interviews. So that's how I got to know a lot of these wrestlers. So I love Lauren Garcia and what she's brought to the table and memories of her on SmackDown vs. Raw and Here Comes the Pain. Well, I don't think she was on Here Comes the Pain, but I know SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. I remember seeing her for sure in 07. Um, even one to unlock her character um, with those little mods you could do where you could put in your PlayStation 2 where they would unlock things. So I even wanted to play as Lillian Garcia as a Diva fan. But um, I feel like it's time for them to just focus on the new generation. Ooh, me say no. I didn't even apply recently. But um, we shall see who it is. Is it going to be someone, um, woman of color? I mean... Samantha was woman of color. Are they going to replace her with someone woman of color? Are they going to replace her uh, with Lillian? And Lillian's just going to get her torch back? Is it going to be a male counterpart? Is it going to be someone that's a male? Is there going to be a case where Byron Saxton is taking double load, where we'll see him on Raw as well? And she, he's getting trained to do that as well. It's just so much speculation going on, guys. But I knew I had to make this video before I hit the road. I said, if I hit the road... I'm going to regret it because I need to make this video. So, um, I'm here, Mark Hill's World, all things professional wrestling in my life. If you have not, please sub to the YouTube channel, Mark Hill's World. I post three times a week. Um, TikTok, I post three times a week, Mark Hill's World. Hey, 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 how are you guys? How are you guys? It's me. How are you guys? I'm here. Thank you so much for those that already do support, but, um, this is some news. Are you guys going to miss Samantha? Is this like you don't even care who the ring announcer is? You're more about the action and her being gone really is minute and this isn't any news to you. You'd rather just have the action. Whoever else is running things, you will get with the program and get used to the new ring announcer. Is this something where you guys are kind of a fan of hers and what she brought to the table, such as Chelsea Green, things of that nature, where she brought her, again, her enunciation, her style, her, you know, her little mesh, the Samantha Irvin mesh. Are, are you guys gonna miss that? Um, it, it is different from making their way to the ring, um, Chelsea Green, or making their way to the ring, Chelsea Green. You know, there's so much more enunciation, so much more, oh, didn't want to say the word passion, because I'm sure the other announcers that announce have the same passion or as much passion as Samantha, but she brings so much more. Mm, Samantha brought so much more depth to the character. She brought so much more importance to the character. She brought so much more. It was more meaningful. So um, she will be missed. She will be missed. Um, I don't know how she would be the ring announcer for um, um, AEW. Don't they already have one? That guy they used to, Justin Roberts, isn't he the ring announcer? Unless she is going to be the one for Collision and he's going to be Dynamite. Oh, hell. I could see them making him the Collision and... um. What's his name? Collision. What's on Friday? Rampage ring announcer. You know, you gotta go. And she becomes the uh, main ring announcer for AEW and the pay-per-views. I mean, oh, can I see her in the AEW arena? That would be a really different look for Miss Irvin. Miss Irvin, I mispronounced, girl. Child, I'm tired. Love you, boo. You, you know you're cute. You're a baddie. I don't mean to mispronounce your last name, boo, but... Wishing you the best, Mrs. Mark Hill's World, TikTok. I know you guys have to get off, so bye-bye, TikTok. Thank you. Life update is work. Monday, I'm here. This is me, my work attire. Look at me. You know, no longer chilling. This is me, no makeup, no nothing. I come natural when I come in here. There's really no one to impress. Uh, that's why I come natural sometimes on my YouTube videos, but sometimes makeup. And um, this is me, Mark Hill's World. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, TikTok. See you guys on the next video. Please like. Peace. I post at least three times a week. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> but 
YouTube, so let's keep this momentum going. I do want my videos to be longer than 10 minutes now. Um, I've been doing this for a while now. I don't want these 10 minute videos, at least 12 or 13. Um, with Samantha leaving, do you think this is a shock? I think that um, WWE is stunned. Yes, I am. I do feel like they have, again, they put so much energy and time into her. I don't think that WWE is going to take this lightly that she is leaving, especially the fact that if she's going to the competitor AEW, I feel like she, they invested so much time and energy into her. So, um, I don't know if they're going to take this slightly. I don't know the circumstances. I don't know if there was a disagreement. I don't even know if um, oh, it was her decision. I would have thought that WWE would have made a statement if they released her. But um, yeah, it was her decision, clearly. But I, I liked her. You know, at first, I thought she was extra. I'll admit it. Let me just give some memories of her. I thought when she came to WWE, representation was very important to me. So when she did come, I said, okay, that's someone that kind of looks like, uh, I guess my mother, because my mother's mix has her hairstyle. So I was like, good, uh, you know, African-American woman doing it. Give you your, your, your kudos. Very expiring. And then um, the enunciation at first was like, okay, she doing too much, just announce the wrestler. But over the time, I'm like, okay, Kind of makes the character a little bit better. And then when we saw her reaction, the longer we saw her, the more we got used to her. So I did start to appreciate her style. Um, she's very educated. Um, she has a fine education background. Um, the experience she has with WWE, she can use anywhere um, that she wants to use it. I am sure she can spin it to any avenue and make it work for her. So again, wishing you nothing but the best, Samantha. Um, this is wrestling news for today. This is Markel's World YouTube. I post at least three times a week. Please sub to the YouTube, follow my TikTok Markel's World, follow my wrestling page, Pro Wrestling Tea, where we post wrestling gossip together. But um, this is me, Markel's World. Some people call me Mar. I am signing out.